welcome to Everyday Home Design and Decor. Today, we are going to showcase to you something that we love to do in our homes, but a lot of people are either intimidated by or they just really don't know how to do it, so they don't do it, and then they're envious of all the people that do do it. So, what we're gonna talk about today is wreath hanging. Um, I know this sounds very basic, it's not. Um, but after this video, you will be a pro. So, watch and learn. We have these three beautiful wreaths. Um, these them. are just your faux pine leaves. Steph here got them. Where'd you get these? Hobby Lobby. Okay, so and they, she said right now they're fifty percent off. Okay, so eleven ninety nine, fifty percent off. So good little wreaths. These will last you for many, many years. You can use every Christmas season and we are going to hang them up on these picture windows here so I'm going to sit down show you how to do them and then we will show you how to adhere them to the windows okay so Steph come on over here so on our three windows we're gonna hang these in the middle so there's a couple ways we can do them you can either do them from ribbon or we can hang them on with clips on the windows okay. so first what we're gonna do is we're going to take our wreaths and we're gonna attach ribbon to it okay okay so what we started with is, Steph, where did you pick up this one? Hobby Lobby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a one-stop shop kind of girl if I can. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so right now we are going to do just the red and green traditional Christmases. This is just velvet, two-inch ribbon. Looks like we got a lot here. So I'm going to show you how to go over here to that, to the windows. So stay tuned. Okay, Okay, so with our ribbon, when you go to hang your wreaths on top of your windows, um, what you want to remember is that each one needs to be symmetrical. And to do that, you want to start with the even number, even cut ribbon. So to do it, you want about three to five feet of ribbon per wreath. So while Steph cuts off the tags on those, I'm going to start doing the ribbon here. Okay, so after you have fluffed your wreaths and cut your ribbon all the same size, next you want to adhere it to the wreath. It's very simple to do. All you do is just find a little hole at the top of your wreath and come up, put your ribbon in, and take it to the top. And at this point, you want to squeeze that ribbon into your wreath so it's back against the wire backing, line up the ribbon edges, and then you can either at this point glue them together so it's perfectly flat, staple them, but for the easiest way, you just want to tie them. It doesn't have to be perfect. So on these windows back here, we have five ways that we can hang a wreath. Now the first is going to be, first and second, going to be pretty easy. This is a command tuck, most people know what they are. Pretty easy, these ones are specifically for windows. The clear ones for windows, they hold up to four pounds. So these will go on the windows, you want to do them on the inside window, and then the kicker is if you really want to make a pop, you can do the same exact thing on the outside windows. So you see wreaths from the inside and from the outside. That's one way. Another way is a giant suction cup. These you can get at Hobby Lobby, Lowe's, same with the command books. Other way is also Amazon, easy peasy. These you just plug up and put on the window that you want to put the wreath onto. A third way is 
to, they make things and I don't have them here because I wasn't going to use them on these windows, but they are magnetic window clings. Basically, you put a piece on the outside of the window and a piece on the inside of the window and they stick together through the window and then you can hang up your wreath that way. Those are more expensive. Um, sometimes they don't work, but depends on the wreath, depends on the weight of your wreath, they will. But for the purpose of this, I wanted to use something that you can find at every single store that you go to, which is why I picked up command tucks to begin with. Now, the fourth way to hang up a wreath on your window is to, at the very top, underneath or above the blinds and underneath the trim, you can tape your ribbon up underneath the window to hang it down. Um, if you have Gorilla Tape, that's really the best way to do it. Um, if you don't mind seeing painter's tape, that also works. Also, you can take a tack and you can stick it up into the trim of the window and it'll help hang your wreath down without having a command hook or any kind of wreath hanger device that you might want to use. Um, and the fifth way, which is actually um, what a lot of people see but they can't do. Um, and I want to explain this to you because you know that people want to see it and they want to do it themselves, but it's really, really hard to do if your house isn't built this way. Okay, so step, follow me to the window. Because one of the biggest misconceptions is that people can hang wreaths on their window and it would be perfectly flat. But the problem with that is, is most windows aren't built like that. Most windows are built up and down like this where the window sash comes up. But if you're lucky enough to have a window that has a thing called a window sash. It's where the top comes down or this window actually pulls away from the window. If you're lucky to have that, you can simply pull your window away, the window sash away, drape your wreath on the outside for your inside effect or on, drape it on the outside so you just have your ribbon on the inside. So for the windows in this house, because the blinds are already here, I don't wanna mess with the trim or the blind work up there. I'm going to use suction cups and I'm going to hide them discreetly under the blinds. So. <laughs> don't is... mind that in your video, right? It's really hard. And you can't see them from your blinds. All the hooks up on the three windows and now we're just gonna attach our ribbon and wreaths. And these handy little wreath hangers actually have little hooks. They say they can hold up to 10 pounds. And there you go. So we're just gonna finish down the line and then we'll take some shots of it. And Make them, you know, even fancier with little Christmas picks or battery operated lights. But I love the simplicity of the traditional green and red, and I love that this is an easy at home task that you could do with whatever wreath you find. Speaking of wreaths, um, we wanted to give a shout out to a local wreath maker here in the Treasure Valley. Her name is Casey Leaf on Instagram. You can find her on Instagram. Casey Lee Co. Oh, she's out of Milton and she makes homemade wreaths. If you don't want to use store bought wreaths, you can use hers and instantly get the pretty good for all seasons, right? She does. So follow her as well. She's a lot of fun. She posts a lot of great stuff and a lot of good inspiration comes from her feet. And we'll put a link down below. Yes. Thank you for so, watching today. Cheers! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and Merry Christmas all. <laughs>